This is one of my favorite passing concepts in all of College Football 25, and all you need is a sharp or a, uh, a little bit more of a deep corner route from your outside receiver. I'm going to show you this against cover four, cover three, cover two, as well as main coverage. It is a super good play. If you're watching this video and you want to get better at the game, make sure that you sign up for my school.com community. It's only $10 to become a member there. It's going to get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, both for College Football 25 and for Madden 25 when it drops. So we're going to be keeping you up to date with the best tactics all year long for both games. Let's talk about PA slot corner, why this play is good. The reason it's good is a lot of reasons. It's got a good post route, good corner routes, uh, but it has this deep corner route to the tight end. This deep corner route to the tight end cannot be hot routed, but it's very effective. So what we're going to do is we are going to hit we're going to hot route that tight end, and we're going to hit L1. That's going to custom stem, and we're going to take that all the way down to the line of scrimmage just like that. Um, and then we're going to put the running back on a table route. That's the main concept. Everything else on the play can be hot routed to whatever it is you want to do. So, for example, maybe you want to run a street, you know, something like this, just something simple. Uh, but what you're going to see here is we're just going to create this really nice high-low. And notice that this outside quarter is really never going to defend it. And so what this does is it puts them in a ton of conflict because now all we're really going to have to look to read here is we're just really looking at that right side and we're saying, you know, does that does that uh, slot back up or does he go? So here he backs up. Okay, we throw there, and then we're able to break a tackle. The flats in college football 25 are one of the easiest ways to exploit defenses because they are going to put that defender, that flat defender, in conflict, and you're going to be able to get a lot of easy yards. You see here, see how that slant out? And you see how it just gets in this really, really good kind of soft spot of the defense. Now, another thing that you can do with this setup that I actually really like is you can take this outside receiver and put him on a deeper post route. And the reason this would be helpful uh, in this play, and then maybe just bring this guy on a little underneath drag or underneath in route over the middle, but the reason that this setup would be really, really effective is because one of the best ways to counter the tight end short corner is to go to a Tampa 2 concept. And while this is going to take away that short corner, now you're going to give up a touchdown over the top to that deep post route. As you can see, that deep post route gets wide open over the top of that cover two coverage. Now, another thing that they, a lot of people like to do to kind of make this a little easier on them is they might drop a middle third over to that side. So you see this kind of what it looks like. The problem with dropping that middle third over to that side, though, is if you read it well, this is why this is literally a money play. Uh, if you read this well, number one, you see how that guy backs up to the right. We just check down our running back, and then we just break a tackle, right? We have good running backs on our team. We're going to be able to break a tackle a lot. So I really want you to – I really want to emphasize, like, read the high-low. If that guy backs up over there, throw this, and then one juke move. See how we're getting, like, seven, ten, seven to ten yards with one juke move? It could be even more than that. So just keep that in mind. But the other thing that I wanted to say – is let's say that they play you in a coverage like this. I think that's probably one of the best ways to play uh, trip side in with the cloud, double flatting the, the tight end side, and then we're going to play essentially a, a defense like this on the back end. So what's open with this coverage right here? Well, the main thing that we have available to us in terms of an opening is we're going to utilize this deep corner to our inside trips receiver. So you see here, Everything looks pretty much the same, but now we have this little thing coming over the middle to hold the user, and then you can throw this kind of underneath and potentially make a good play. Now, as you saw right there, because I didn't uh, – you saw that that corner route did not do exactly what we wanted it to do. It was a little bit more difficult to throw, and I wanted to show you kind of how to make that a really easy throw for, you, for your uh, quarterback. So what you want to do is the same basic thing that we're doing on the right. You want to do that on the left. So you see how we brought that, brought that super – uh, low, and then we have kind of this. We're using these route stems really well. What you're going to see is this route stem corner is going to be a lot easier to throw because it's not going to get in that in that awkward position where that outside third can be able to defend it. So they're going to have to play really cover two on both sides, and if they do that, obviously they're going to give up a touchdown. So they really can't defend everything that we have to offer on this play, uh, and that's why these custom – uh, these custom route stems are so important to understand, like, why they work. Let me see if I can get this corner route for you real quick. And we'll just snap the ball. So you see, see how he's wide open right there and just possession catch on the sideline. 
Super good little route combo, one of my favorites in the entire game. And if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, again, that's going to be linked down in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, both for College Football 25 and for Madden 25. I think it's the best deal in the tip space uh, because you're getting both content and you're also getting a ton of updates, not just ebooks, but tips, tricks. Uh, little blitzes, little glitches that we find along the way. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the school community, head down to the description and click the link down below.